Hi there. Sorry, you caught me uh, working on this question here. Um, let's just read the question, actually. It says, the area of the following square is 144 square meters. What is the length of one side? Well, first of all, 144 square meters can also be written like this. Remember, this symbol is just symbolizing that we're talking about meters, okay? I mean, we're talking about area. <laughs> That's what this symbol is for here. If we had a little 3 there, you'd know we're talking about volume, which is three-dimensional. The 3 and three-dimensional, they kind of go together. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's talk about this question. It says, what is the length of one side? Well, let's call one side x. Do you remember that in order to find the area of a square, you always take one side of the square, which is x, and times it by the other side, which is also x, because squares have the same side. So we can just call this x and this x. So wouldn't you agree with me that x squared, or x times x, should give us the area, which is 144? All right, so the way to figure this out, well, we just want to know what x is. We don't want to know what x squared is. We want to know what x is. So the opposite of squaring, which is what's happening here, is square root. Remember that symbol from the last lesson? Well, in math, whatever you do to one side of this equation, you also have to do to the other side. Okay, so the opposite of squaring is square root. So if we take the square root of x squared, we're left with just x, which is what we wanted. And if you take your calculator, you can say, what is the square root of 144? Your calculator will give you the answer of 12. And by the way, um, before we talked about the true answer in math being plus or minus, well, in this case, minus doesn't make sense because there's no such thing as negative 12 as a length on the side of a square. It has to be positive. Length always has to be positive, okay? So, you know, if you wanted to write a sentence answer, you'd say, the length of one side is 12 meters. Remember, not meters squared, because that's area. We're just talking 12 meters here. Oops, 12 meters, and we are done. And that's how you find something. If they give you the area of a square, and you're just supposed to find one side of that square. Just take the square root of the number, and then you're good to go. Cool.